With the structure of the fireplace built, I could now start covering the wall with gypsum brick pieces. Several buckets of special adhesive had to be mixed and based on the recommendation of the manufacturer, first I added the water and then the powder until the desired consistency was reached. As the drying time of the adhesive was quite fast, I had a hard time sticking the first couple of pieces until I got to a steady and constant pace so that the adhesive would not harden inside the bucket. To achieve a continuous look of the final design, I started from the left upper side of the wall and worked my way down. I used several guidelines so that the pieces would be as horizontal as possible. I made the lines using a spirit level, but a laser might be a faster and more precise solution. It took some time to cover the upper side, but eventually I reached the bottom of the wall. I decided to cover the bottom wooden shelf of the fireplace with some paper tape to protect it until everything was glued in place. The inside of the fireplace also had to be covered for a more realistic look, so I searched for an alternative solution as I had very limited space to work with. Luckily, I found a brick wall panel made of plastic that was very similar in design with the Gibson bricks and had a narrow profile that was perfect for this project. With the panel glued in place, it was time to yet again start mixing some more adhesive and continue attaching the rest of the brick pieces. Having both bottom sides covered, I could start working on the wooden frame. After the first couple of brick pieces were glued to the frame, I noticed that there was a problem. Some brick pieces started to come loose and then I realized that the problem was most likely the adhesive. I started using a pre-mixed flexible adhesive that seemed to do the job in my case. The wooden frame was also covered eventually, so now I started to make small adjustments using a small saw. By removing small pieces from here and there, I ended up with a more professional and realistic looking fireplace. To add even more realism, I also fixed and filled in some of the cracks in the bricks using some plaster. Then I added a layer of primer to the entire wall. This would ensure some water protection and would also prepare the surface for painting. I went with some matte white paint as this would both protect the wall and ensure a uniform look to it. A couple of hours later every piece was white and I could start grouting. This step was very important as it would seal the brick pieces and also cover every imperfection. I used a special grout that had sand in it, so the final look would be more rough and similar to a brick wall. It took me around an entire week to apply as the more attention you pay during the application, the better it will look at the end. After the grout had dried, I could start removing the paper tape and cleaning everything. All that remained were the small details. I added a piece of white edge plinth to the inside of the fireplace. 
I cleaned and sanded the top shelf of the fireplace and added two layers of clear varnish. With most decorative elements complete, I could fix and place the Dimplex Optimist electric fire. The finishing touch that will also act as a cover for the electric fire was a small panel made of wood branch slices. I found some larger pre-cut slices that I fixed in place using some wood glue, small wood pieces and a metal stapler. For the smaller pieces, I made some slices from a branch I found in the woods. With the panel finished, the project was complete and man what an awesome outcome. I was very happy with the end result and so was my family. Thanks for watching guys and till next time, take care.